Well, right now there is a map that's making the rounds out there online. You may have seen it showing a MARTA expansion. It has rail lines going all the way out to Gwinnett, Cobb, Fayette, and Henry counties. But making this map a reality could cost billions. So let's verify tonight. Is this map really real? 11 Live's Joe Ripley is joining us with that answer to the question. He's joining us live from outside the Lindbergh Marta station. Joe, what did you find out here? So I spoke with one passenger who frequently rides Marta, but in heading home, he still has to drive half an hour to get there after reaching the easternmost Marta station. So you might have seen this map circulating around on social media, and uh, that would hit through his hometown. So to verify if this was real, I dug into the facts. I ride it every other day. At least three times a week, sometimes more, depending on if I need to go to places besides work. Martyr riders hopped on a train more than 30 million times in the last fiscal year. The train is currently limited to Fulton and DeKalb counties, but when we showed Daniel Samalis, I think it's amazing. And Carrie Chandler, this is what it should have been to begin with. A map of potential Martyr rail expansion, their eyes opened wide. This map made the rounds on social media, depicting routes that would go into Gwinnett, Cobb, Clayton, and other counties. But is this map real? Let's verify. Our sources are MARTA and the Atlanta Regional Commission. MARTA confirmed it did not make this map. So, no, the map is not real, but let's add some more context. MARTA says to turn this made-up map into reality, it would cost $100 billion. The agency's budget is only $1.5 billion. GDOT's annual budget for transportation repairs, upgrades, and expansion of roads is around $3.65 billion. And federal grants earmarked for transit expansion nationwide amounted to just over $2 billion. An expansion is something the area has talked about since at least 2015, with the project going nowhere. In 2020, Gwinnett County voters rejected a 30-year 1% sales tax to fund a possible Marta rail expansion. Cobb County did not sign up for rail either, and conflict with the freight line doomed Marta rail expansion into Clayton County. Marta says it will instead focus on rapid bus transit expansion, which it claims is much less expensive, faster to build, less disruptive, and more flexible than heavy rail. The Atlanta Regional Commission issued a survey last fall with 90% of people saying an improved public transit system is very important or somewhat important to Metro Atlanta's future. But less than half say they would pay more taxes to fund those transit improvements. When they're at the voting booth, when they're actually, you know, when they get a chance to show their voice, you know, their voice is probably, you know, has dollar signs on it. Tonight, we understand Marta is expecting to expand its light rail service with its streetcar around the Beltline. As for plans of expansion around its heavy line service, those plans on pause for now. All right, Joe, at least we know the truth. Thank you so much. Well,